Are you looking for a launcher that lets you run all your favorite gacha games on Linux? Well, you've come to the right video. Today, I'm going to show you the Twintail launcher. How to install it, download your favorite gachas, and configure basic settings. With that being said, let's get started. To install Twintail launcher, open your software center, depending on your distribution, and search for Twintail launcher. You can install the Flatpak version or the system package if your distribution provides one. I'm using Cache OS, a Linux based distro, so I'll go to the AUR and grab the git package. And I'll recompile it for the sake of this tutorial. When you open it, it should look something like this. You'll see the option to install Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, Sendless Zone Zero, Honkai Impact Third, Wuthering Waves, Punishing Grey Raven, and Ether Gazer. For this tutorial, I'm going to download Punishing Grey Raven. I will change my download location simply because I need extra space, but everything else stays at default. Once your game has finished downloading, Open the settings for it. I recommend enabling Manga HUD as well as Game Mode. The launcher gives you even more options like opening the prefix folder, changing your default runner, adding your game to the desktop and much much more. Feel free to adjust these to your personal preference. Alright, so I'm going to launch this game just as a demonstration to show you that this launcher works just fine. So I'm going to click play. Alright, so as you can see, the game is initializing. So I'm going to confirm and proceed. As you can see, I logged into my account and I'm going to change the server. And that's pretty much it. So let's get started. Alright, so as you just saw, I couldn't get into the server. Maybe it might have to do with um, Coro servers. I could be wrong, but I believe it has to do with Coro servers. So I really can't play this game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play either Gazer. A very quick gameplay, just to show that the game works. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to launch the game. Alright, so I created an account, so I'm going to enter my name, which is Jewelry. And as you can see, the game works. Obviously, this is just the story, so I will get into the combat. Okay, so as you can see, the game is improving fine. Uh, let me see here. No camera left. Okay, so I can't use my mouse, so obviously I have to learn the tutorial. Okay, so let's follow the instructions. Okay.
this might take time to get used to the key bindings simply because this is obviously a foreign game to me i've never played this game before the fact that i have to use my keyboard and not my mouse to like move the camera is a little bit weird but again this is a demonstration showing you that this game actually works with no issues Well, I'm sure there must be a setting somewhere for that. Okay, never mind. Pound it. Okay, so. Um. The game should be. Okay, let me set it to 120 frames so that I know I can run this game at a higher refresh rate. Let me see what else I was going to do. Let's run it in 1920 by 1080. We'll keep most of these things at default. Uh, let's turn this at medium. I'm right, it should be 120, okay. Okay. Okay, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to do. Okay, so with that being said, I think that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it. The developers behind this project are working hard to make this launcher as smooth and hassle-free as possible. So I definitely recommend checking out their Discord channel or supporting the project. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's your boy Jury, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.